for this data f how are you we call it data for water volume so we want to be able to do a time series i would like to first convert the data into this instead of having it as um, us so the first thing i need to do is because i have the data for 2020 up to 2022 uh, so the first thing i need to do now is to to select the one for each each year so i don't know i don't know how to do that automatically because i tried finding and selecting 2020 then find all so I got all and I did select, but I'm not select, it's not selecting the, the other part. So yeah, I don't know how to do that. So I manually select, selected it and here I have it. It's the, for, this is for 2022, 2021, and I have for 2022. So now let me start with, um, 2020, 22. So now I want to convert it to to daily. So from hours to daily, so I'm going to first select all of my my data. So I think it's gonna take some time. Okay, now, so I've selected everything. Then I'll go to insert, then click on pivot table. So under this pivot table, this is asking us which data do you want to select it. Then here it's asking, do we need a new or want to work on an existing data? So for me, I'm going to create a new one. So when I click on new, then I have new here. So I can bring it to 22. Then, okay. So now I, I have this. Then, so I have the day and the, the value. So for the value, I'm going to drag it to this point. And for the day, I'm going to drag it here. So now you can see we have for months, for May, June, and July. And it's giving us like a sum. So the first step is to first change that because I'm looking for the mean. Okay, so the average daily. So I will go to, I will just click on this part, then go to value field settings. When I click and then I'm going to click on average. So after that, we will, okay. So you can see now that it's on average, but what we're still seeing now, it's more like monthly data. So best thing we can do is now we'll click on this. Then we'll right click. So when we we'll right click on any of that, then we can go to group. Then we can see we have group. So it's group, it's been grouped into a month. So I want it to be grouped this only. So I can click on it and now I have it grouped into, into this. So now I have the 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 average value for May 28th, May 29th, and that. So now the next thing is for me to reformat it and and then have my my data in in this that I should have it. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna copy this.
and um, as well, I'm gonna have a new sheet. So this so for the day now you can see that we have it in this. So I'm gonna change the format to so I'm gonna change the format to date to this so I can have my date and that format now. Okay. So now it's showing 2022 because we are in 2022 and we're going to 20. Then all I just need to do is drag down then it will automatically focus. So now I can do my daily analysis for the 